Well, I believe that trustees and school boards are very important partners in education. As I mentioned earlier, I'm also a member of a parent council, and I think that there is also a role for parents to play in all of this. It's important for us as parents to be on top of the issues that are going on in the classroom and with your children as students, and to ensure that we know what is happening locally in our school, schools and classrooms. That's why I will commit to meeting with uh, councils and, and boards and trustees on a regular basis. I think it is important to meet and, and consult with the trustees, the school board trustees, to ensure that we know where things are headed. Uh, this can, for example, ensure that when it comes to school builds, which take a little bit of time, uh, when we know that the growth in an area like this is uh, moving ahead at an accelerated rate, by talking to your trustees and being in communication with them, we can ensure that the projections are correct and that when schools are being built that we are actually building them for the size that are needed for the growing population here. I'm going to draw on my own uh, experiences here now about why I think it's important for an MPP to be involved in the process. As I mentioned earlier, Martin Street was uh, almost closed a number of years ago, and uh, this was when we knew that the area was set to grow. We knew that it was going to be a growing area, and in just a few years, that school would be needed. So we fought to try to keep it open. We did uh, go to Mr. Chudley and ask him to speak up for us. He refused to speak up for Halton Schools. Yes, we did, Mr. Chudley. You, you said no, and I have this from the school board trustee at the time. I spoke with him before I came here today, and I've been speaking with him on a fairly regular basis about your record. Uh, sorry? You're typical liberal, you lie. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, in my opinion, this is not how local MPPs and local trustees should be working. We have to work together. That's why I'm here. Uh, when it comes to collective bargaining, my understanding of that process, just to set the record straight, means that everybody is the ta at the table working together. It's not a top-down process at all. Quite the opposite. What's been set up is a system so that everybody can have a voice at the table, which is what is needed to come to a proper uh, decision about things. And finally, when we're talking about public service workers earlier and freezes and so on, I remind people that in the plan right now that the PCs have, they're talking about cutting 100,000 public service workers. That, that cut is going to be huge when we're talking about teachers and teaching assistants and so on, because we all know that no economist in the country, including uh, someone who is very well known for finance in our, in our country, Paul Martin, who came a little while ago and chatted with all of us, he does, it does not make sense. You can't create jobs, you can't create a good, good school environment by cutting 100,000 workers out of the mix. And that's not going to stop there. When you cut 100,000 people out of jobs, you are affecting 100,000 families. You are affecting the buying power of local businesses. And ultimately, in the end, you are going to gut this province, and we're going to wind up with a ripple effect that is going to affect us on a scale that I don't think we are even aware of at this point in time. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that this is uh, probably the most interesting question of the the four prepared uh, because it's it's not directly about party policy. It's it's you know what would you do specifically, right? It's not uh, uh, you know this grand platform. Uh, I must admit that I personally uh, don't have a great understanding, uh, at least until recently, uh, as to the role of a school board trustee. Uh, you know, I I am quite happy to have as my campaign manager actually somebody who served uh, two terms as a school board trustee and uh, he's been drilling into my head a lot of the uh, the education side of uh, of how municipal government works so uh, what I can promise to do is continue to be a sponge of information in terms of trying to understand this role a bit more a lot more hopefully uh, uh, you know, intergovernmental relations are really important, and uh, it's important to the functioning of any ministry or sector. Um, but certainly, since we're dealing with such an important um, sector as education, it's one of the rare uh, parts of government where you actually have somebody directly elected who's responsible for an area of, of policy uh, that you don't necessarily have. You know, in the US, they have, say, elected Dodd 
dog catchers and sheriffs, uh, but we don't have that in Canada. Um, so school board trustee is one of those interesting uh, elected uh, positions. So, you know, I, I love political process. I love uh, structures of government. I'd love to learn more. Um, beyond that, I'd I'd love to build a relationship with with all municipal elected officials, uh, certainly school board trustees. Uh, again, I can't say that I have uh, a terribly strong relationship, uh, relationship at the moment with uh, individuals such as Donna. I find that's too bad. I'd love to get to know you a bit better. Um, because it is really a personal thing we're talking about in this question. Um, you know, trustees like Donna and, um, sorry, I, I can't, Hi. Jennifer and Amy, um, you're naturally the first among equals when it comes to discussing educational topics. I mean, uh, again, you're directly elected to talk about these things. Um, so I'd imagine that any good uh, member of provincial parliament or any good member of, say, town council uh, should have a relationship with these these individuals. So, I mean, I don't, I, I can't claim to know the, the nature of, of uh, Ted's relationship with uh, Donna or anybody else, um, but I, I would imagine that it would have to be uh, a good working relationship at the least, and that's something that I can immediately commit to doing. Thank you. Um, I did uh, represent Martin Street School uh, to Queens Park, uh, as I would with any issue. I would um, any issue that my constituents have that needs a liaison to Queens Park. I follow up with that. I try to meet with ministers when and when and if they can meet with me. Otherwise, I write letters. Quite often, I take the letter and I deliver it directly to the minister when it's sitting in their chair in the house. They can't ignore the letter then. Inevitably, they open it and read it. They may pass it on, but they know they've got it. Um, that's what an MPP does. He represents his communities as, as it uh, liaisons with Queen's Park. And over 19 years, I'm proud of the job that I've done in that area. Uh, I've always had a good working relationship with, um, with uh, trustees, um, probably uh, none better than with, with Donna. She's been, uh, she's been a very uh, active and, uh, and, and uh, available um, trustee. Uh, I've always had an open door uh, as far as trustees and board, and board uh, members and, board, and staff, um, board staff, educational board staff. Uh, who've called me with information, I call them with, uh, uh, to get information and to give them, give them back information. Uh, it all revolves around what is best for the students. Uh, and, as for, and when everyone works together, uh, we, create, we can create the best experience uh, that a student can have when they're in school. And I'm sure that, uh, that students learn better when they're in uh, those, uh, those circumstances. As far as uh, the who does what of, uh, of boards of education, um, uh, local, um, local councils or, uh, or, or um, uh, MPPs, uh, provincial government, uh, we must all remember that there's only one taxpayer. Uh, the taxpayer funds all levels of government. So it makes ultimately good sense to have the level, the level of government that can do the job the best, in the, the best, not the cheapest, but the best, uh, at, at the most efficient cost uh, to handle that particular issue. And that's why I think it's an, it's an, it's an excellent system that we have that the boards of education make those decisions. Um, they're, they are um, uh, they're passed on and, and, and approved by the, by the Ministry of Education, but it's uh, the local input into those decisions are what make them effective. And uh, working with the, with the trustees, working with the boards and their staff, uh, I think that all comes together and works well. And works well. I was interested to see Paul Martin quoted here today. Uh, I would point out that during his term as Minister of Finance of this country, of which I think he did a relatively good job, uh, but he also let go 165,000 civil servants during his term. So uh, I found it interesting that he's criticizing us for doing what he did. I think that's it. Thank you.